No injuries to report of in the game. We came out pretty clean. Um, Dylan left and then came back, so nothing on the injury front. Uh, really a tail, uh, two halves for us. You know, you go up 17, nothing. Um, got to find a way to finish. I love the way we played. I love our effort. Um, but we got to have, we got to be able to knock a team out when they're down. Um, we gave them great field position. We had too many penalties. The turnovers were critical. Um, you know, we can't give up 17 points at the end of the day. That was our biggest issue. We we gave up a, a block punt for a touchdown, an interception for a touchdown, and, and a long a long return uh, in the kickoff game for a field goal. So really 17 points. I thought our defense played. Uh, it was a winning effort on defense. They did a really nice job. They made life hard for those guys exactly how we wanted to. Um, and we just handed them points. And, you know, in a game like that, that's going to be a little bit of a defensive battle. Um, we have to make sure we don't make those mistakes, and those mistakes were critical, and they were killer. And you hand any team in the NFL 17 points, you're going to have a you're going to have a hard time winning. And uh, to me, that's the story. I thought we came out and played how we wanted to in the first half on offense, other than the first drive, and uh, just didn't didn't have anything in the second half. Couldn't get going. Couldn't get the run game going. Got behind the sticks. Got and just we had sacks and penalties and all, all kinds of issues. So disappointing in that regard. Uh, couldn't keep drives alive. weren't good on third down. So a uh, lot of left for us to clean up and, and get back and try to get better. Six. Was Will trying to get it to somebody, or was he trying to get it out of bounds? He was trying to throw it away. Um, they brought a zero pressure, so we had no answer. They had a, we had a free guy. Um, and so he knew he saw the pressure, he recognized it, and he was trying to get it forward so he wouldn't get intentional grounding. Um, but just got to be better than that. Got to be able to get the ball on the ground and not throw it to anybody. He was not trying to throw it to Tyler. He was trying to get it uh, out of his hand and just got in, tough, in a tough spot going to his left, and he couldn't get anything on it. And But we can't have that. I mean, we can't have an interception for a touchdown when we're up 17-16 uh, at midfield. And the way our defense was playing, you know, that's just – it's killer. It's killer. Why did you tell Will when he came back to the sideline after that? Well, I mean, he, he, he knows. And I just told him, look, we're gonna, we got the ball coming right back, and we got to go try to find a way to score. You know, there's there's not a whole lot of time to, to diagnose it, and you got to keep you got to keep a guy up, and you got to get ready to go because the ball's coming right back in our hands with a chance to go win the game. So um, that's really all you can say in those moments. Felt like you guys were behind the sticks a lot, especially penalties, negative running plays. Mm -hmm. Felt like that was a, probably one of the reasons the second half was so difficult to get going offensively. Yeah, we couldn't get any rhythm going. You know, every time I looked up, I felt like it was it was second and nine or third and eight or third and ten. And just there was no there was no rhythm on offense at all. I couldn't get in a rhythm calling plays because of the spots we were in. Um, so yeah, it was a really it was a, it was a struggle of a second half in that regard. So. Um, that was certainly contributed to it. We weren't on schedule at all. We didn't get enough uh, positive plays, enough efficiency to to be manageable down in distances. And then when we did, you know, we didn't do anything with it. What did you see on the, on the blocked punt, and in particular at that moment, how mm -hmm. big of a swing of momentum was that? Yeah, I mean, I think when you give up a block punt in a game for a touchdown, it usually, I don't know what the stats exactly are, but it certainly puts you in a really tough spot to win the game when you give up a special teams touchdown like that. Uh, we just got, ultimately, I think we just got edged. Um, I'd have to look at it and see how long it took, but uh, it, wasn't a, it wasn't a crazy rush. It wasn't schematic. We just got beat, and um, we got pushed back. And again, I got to see the timing on the punt, but um, just disappointing that we would give that up in that spot because our defense was playing so good. Talk about the lack of, of rhythm. First two series, there was nothing. Is that Were you off the script by the time you got to the third series where you had some success, and how much were you concerned about those first two series? Um, no, I mean, we were still in, in that same range of plays for the most part. Um, we just finally got a couple things off the ground. And again, we were in get back on track spots for a lot of the game that was really frustrating um, and just not getting any enough efficiency from the run game. I mean, that's a good run front. We know they're number one defense in the league against the run last year for a reason. Um, but I thought we'd be better than we were in, in this game. And that led to a lot of the issues we had. Just we couldn't get anything positive going um, for stretches. And that was really difficult. So much about the play that you brought in outside of Tony, mm -hmm. you didn't really get anything big from any of them. No, we had some shots to Calvin that, that uh, you know, the one Will couldn't get enough on the ball. We had we had him beat, but it was just hard. It was hard to get, you know, they were in get back on track and trying to generate, you know, play action explosives down the field and some go balls. It just we're in a spot where they're waiting for those types of things, so that's frustrating. So we couldn't, we could not play offense the way we wanted to today and, and uh, led to some, some pretty significant struggles. The offense was pressing later in the game, or was the energy dropping as struggles were kind of going? Oh, I mean, the momentum certainly swung. You know, you you have that you have that punt block for a touchdown, and I mean, we're we're in control of the entire game, uh, and to have that happen, and then and then the interception for a touchdown. Yeah, we were. I mean, we were fighting up against it. We're on the road in a tough environment, um, and, and we didn't bounce back the way that I think we're capable of. And that was uh, would have liked to have seen a little more to response from our team in that spot. But um, you know, we'll, we'll just got to keep getting better.
Talk about the defense. How much you feel like they kept you in it, and how did you like the pressure they put on Williams throughout? Yeah, I thought they did a fantastic job. I mean, they they've they they did their part. Um, they played a winning performance. I felt like. I mean, I think at one point they they had less than 100 yards in the third quarter. I think, but it, it was. It was really well done. They played physical. They played aggressive. They made life hard for, for Caleb Williams to get any kind of rhythm going themselves. I mean, they were they were ultimately in the same spot we were uh, on offense, and and they found they found some touchdowns in other places, and, and we couldn't. And so they they struggled. Our defense played well, and uh, I was really really happy to see that. It seemed like Levis was constantly under duress. What was happening up front with guys just getting straight up whooped? Or was no, I don't think it was that. I mean, those certainly we lost some some one on one rushes. Um, we had they had some pressure that, that popped free. The one the interception was a zero blitz. That they had more than we can block in that point. Um, we was trying to get rid of the ball, but no, I think I have to watch the tape to know ins and outs of what what happened. But it felt like it just was we had some losses in some big spots, and and it, it contributed to some bad football. What did you see on the strip sack? Uh, the strip sack. Oh well, yeah, he was getting ready to throw the ball down the field to Chig, and as he was getting, he didn't feel the backside pressure, which is what happens. We got. Um, we got edge on the backside, and that's what happens on strip sacks. We don't see him coming. Um, he's getting ready to draw and throw the ball down the field, and, and he chopped the ball out. Is it easier or harder to swallow knowing that it was mainly self-inflicted it's not mistakes that kept you from um, They're all really difficult to swallow, uh, no matter how it shakes out, because I, th- I thought we were I thought we were in a good place and we had a chance to win this game. And for me, uh, it's just disappointing that, that we didn't find a way to do that. And uh, they're all hard to swallow. Every last one of them, no matter how it shakes out. So, um, bad taste in your mouth. Really disappointed. Uh, but I think we got to we got to find a way to rebound and get ready for our home opener. So, is it something that the Bears did to kind of shut down the run in the second half? Or do you feel like it was more self inflicted because Tony? Had no, they they the first half? they changed up their front. I mean, we ran the ball well in the first half, and they changed, and uh, we tried to get to a couple different things. And they they were pressuring a little bit more on first, second down. And they were playing some different fronts. Uh, things that we we weren't that weren't unexpected. We knew that was coming. Um, then they just did a good job. They had executed us on defense for sure, and that, that part um, is, is dis- disappointing for me. But um, yeah, they, they changed what they were doing in the second half for sure, um, and they, they needed to. And, and we didn't do a good enough job uh, making sure that we had, we answered that. Penalties, a uh, lot of self-inflicted stuff there. Yeah. that was avoidable. What do you think about the discipline? Uh, I don't think. I mean, I don't think we have a discipline problem. It's hard to play on the road. Um, we had some false starts. We had some holdings. I mean, it was more so. Um, I think more so things like that, where you're getting you're getting holds and the, the block in the back on Nick Westbrook was a tough one. I thought that was close, but um, yeah. I mean, at the end of the day, though, we, we have to be better than that. We had way too many penalties and, and put us in some tough spots. Um, so yeah, it's got to be better. You thought about needing to get in rhythm as a play caller. Did mm-hmm. it surprise you at all how difficult it was to kind of find that rhythm? I don't know. I've seen plenty of games that go like this. Um, you know, not as a caller, but I mean, I've been a part of enough of them that you know there is game. There's games where it's just it's hard, and and you're trying to find something that uh, you can manufacture some positive yards. Especially in the second half, just felt like everything we did um, was was difficult. We couldn't find anything to get positive results outside of a couple of things, and so. Um, yeah, it's that's challenging as a play caller when you're in those spots, particularly when you're just in in second and eight plus and third and eight plus a lot. That's those are hard down and distances to manage um, when you're not getting enough out of the run game, which we didn't in the second half. A lot of the stuff, a lot of the conversation with Will in the preseason was knowing when not to risk things, mm-hmm. to, to just go to the next play. Yep. Is this? It seemed like he was doing that for the first half, but where do you feel like that got away, and is it disappointing to see that? Well, I mean, I, I think it's a fine, it's it's a it's a balance, and and there was some things that you know the, the sack fumble he didn't see it. It wasn't necessarily that he was being reckless. He was trying to get the ball off. Um, the interception, everything he said was right, and it's just you just can't put the ball in harm's way in that point. So um, there's things he's got to learn from. He's still a young player, and and he's got to he's got to learn in the game moments at all. You know, this is when it happens. You know, it's it's one thing to do in practice, but when you're in a game and you're and the bullets are flying, it makes it a little bit more challenging. So, he's got room to improve, as do I, to help him in some of the play calling. So that's best I can answer that. You need a loss. It's tough to swallow like that. What's your message to the guys after the game? Um, pretty simple. It was disappointing that that we had as many errors as we did. Um, I didn't necessarily think that would be the way we would lose a game, and. Positive. Our defense played really well. Our first half was was very very good, and we made way too many mistakes. And you're never going to win a game in the NFL spotting somebody 17 points um, without our defense even having a chance to take the field. So that was the main message: is that we have a lot of clean up, a lot to work on. Um, 
it's the first week. We got 16 more. Um, and we got to find a way to get better for the next one. How did things go with Hopkins? I think it was 15 snaps. Mm -hmm. Kind of where you projected? That was about right. Yeah, we were trying to make sure he, um, you know, he wasn't ready to play 65 plays in a game, and uh, so we rotated him in a little bit, got him, got his feet wet, and he'll keep continuing to get stronger and feel better, and uh, his role will increase as he feels better. But wanted to get him started, and that was the point. And he felt good enough to go, which I appreciate. Appreciate him fighting through it. And so we're going to keep getting healthier, and he'll keep finding more roles in, in the offense as we get going. He was kind of a real safety net last year. Mm -hmm. He's a guy that we'll look for a lot. Uh, did that hurt not having him available more than he was? Um, hard to say. You'd have to ask Will. Um, I didn't feel that necessarily, but um, you know, he hasn't. He's also hasn't been in practice for for the better part of six weeks, and so that part was in. I couldn't answer that. I don't know. Um, you have to ask Will. Did you see on the, on the pick six and uh, what do you think after you let it go? Yeah, just a bonehead play. Just, uh, I think, recency bias from getting away with it the last time I did in the game, just trying to throw it in the dirt. Then as get, when, I'm getting, when you're getting taken down, you know, you don't know what's going to happen to the ball as it comes out. I was really just trying to dirt it. And in that situation, you, know, I also, you try to handle it with a zero check or something, the first time bringing zero all game, and then uh, or just take the sack. It might be one of those times just to take the sack. So one of the things that of a lot of things that I can learn from from this game. I mean, the second half, you guys having so much success early. What was making the difference in the second half not able to have that success? Yeah, I just we weren't as efficient. Uh, I mean, the, the penalties and stuff that we were emphasizing on trying to eliminate in that second half kept happening, kept leaving ourselves in third and long, not just not being efficient on first and second down, which is what one of our keys to this game was. Um, and credit to them. They, just, they did a good job of you know stopping the run and closing the coverage and um, yeah just we, we just got to be better and that's not us that first half was a winning offensive football game second half that's that's can lose you games so um, just not not good across the board well in terms of just the turnovers in the second half how, how much of it was unforced errors how much of it was them putting you in positions to make plays like um excuse me putting myself in just how much was their defense putting you in tough positions. How much of mm -hmm. maybe things that you might describe as unforced errors? Uh, yeah, I mean that one was an unforced error. The interception, um, the fumble. I just, I mean, I, can, I gotta try to feel, my, do my best to feel that coming off the edge and just being more secure with the ball in my hands. Uh, and the last one, I was just trying to, I was pr pressure, just trying to throw it up. How frustrating that the, the offensive rhythm never really showed up for any kind of sustained period of time. Yeah, we had the one amazing, you know, 19 play drive, which is so cool to be able to just matriculate the ball down the field and get that done. So we wanted to let that you know, carry over into the second half, and it definitely didn't. So we just got to be more efficient on first and second down, just so we can actually string some drives together and f develop and feel that rhythm. That pass when you're trying to get really down the field, did, did your arm get hit? Or yeah. Just a I, I I don't exactly know what it what it was, but I wasn't able to really step into it, but. He had him beat over the top. We got to start connecting on those. One of the things that's been kind of emphasized throughout camp was, you know, taking the shorter passes and allowing for yards after catch. It just didn't seem like there were much yards after catch to be had today. Was that something that they were doing, or is that something you guys weren't doing enough of? Uh, I think just credit to them. They did a good job tackling. I think we had a couple situations um, where, we, you know, it would have been nice for us to, to pull away and make something happen with the yards after the catch, but. Um, you know, just credit to them for you know being a stout, solid defensive team, and I know we know that we have the guys to be able to do that. And I'm going to keep having confidence in them and keep giving them the ball and allowing them to, you know, do the electric things with this. So, well, as strange as this sounds, do you still need to learn how to give up on a play? Uh, I definitely can get better. I mean, there's there's things to take from this game all over. You know, my game that I feel like I can look at and and improve from, but. Um, like that one, it's not like I was even trying to throw the ball, but just knowing that in a situation like that, when you're pressured and you're going down, you don't know how that ball is going to come out. Just sometimes taking the sack is the right is the right play. Um, but I think I did a good job of just taking the throws that were there and taking off and using my legs when I needed to. But definitely a lot of things that I can get better on in that area as well. Just building on what he said, how do you balance a competitive streak that likely played a role in you getting to the NFL and being in the starting of the quarterback with like learning when to, to just dump on a play and, and move on to the next one. I mean, that's a tricky balance, I imagine, as a young player. Yeah, for sure. It's it's the, you know, we might have something dialed up where there's a, a shot to, you know, get 
explosive, but if the underneath one's there, you, you got to take it, and you got to just trust that you know, as you take those underneath, the ones behind them are going to open up. Um, we have just some, we have some great concepts in this offense that I, we feel like we can just keep developing in, and um, as long as we just keep taking the throws that are there, then everything else will open up. But uh, yeah, it's 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 a weird kind of thing to feel out. You know, it's it's you can't just be okay with darting it at the check down every single time. You got to have your opportunities and know your moments to to push the ball down the field. Uh, and again, that's just something that I'm going to continue to get better on as the season goes on. The new weaponry oh, we've spent the whole offseason kind of talking about. Beyond Tony, you guys didn't really get much out, out of it. Disappointed, frustrated. What do you mean? Well, the, the, the yardage from from those guys collectively didn't didn't amount to, to a lot. Mm -hmm. okay. Yeah. Disappointed in that, frustrated. Yeah, we just need to be more efficient on first and second down. We didn't have enough opportunities to give the ball to those guys, and uh, you know if we're if we're able to get in situations to move the ball around and, and continue drives, and I don't know how many three and outs we had, probably five, four or five, I think at least. Um, so that's just best bad ball. You got to be able to sustain drives and give guys opportunities to make plays. And after this game, it's important for us to, to stick together. And you know, when you have losses like this, it's when locker rooms can start falling apart. And I got to let them know I still have the utmost confidence in every single one of those guys in that skill room, and that we're going to keep giving the ball to them and keep making sure that they know that there is part there is a part for them in the game plan. And we just got to make sure we can stay efficient um, across the board so that we can unlock those parts of the game plan for everybody. Well, build up that in the locker room. Well, is it when you have a game? You guys are excited, season opener, you jump to a lead, yeah. and then these errors basically cost you the game. How difficult is it to rally everybody and keep it together? After yeah, it's it's gut wrenching. It's tough. Like I mean, having a 17 point lead and giving them the game. You know, I feel like I I can't remember a loss in my career where I feel like it, it blatantly. You know, I kind of handed it over to them, and it's it's hard for me to deal with that. Um, but we know it's it's a team effort, and there's just things across the board that we can point at and look at. Um, they didn't win that game; we lost that game, and we know that. Credit to them, you know. They happy for for Caleb and you know that team, but uh, you know that, that's tough. Like for for us to have the punt block, the the interception, the fumble, the the big kick return to get them in the field goal range. They didn't. Our defense did a heck of a job all day of, of not really letting them drive the ball and. We, we got to come out with a W and make sure that we do our part on a part on offense. So as long as our defense plays like that, we can be a really, really good team. Dad, you guys, they, he still has faith in you. That the guys in that locker room still have faith in you. What do you say to them in, in, in return to that? I'm, I'm going to keep working my tail off. I'm going to just keep making sure that I'm going into Sunday prepared and um, keep proving to them that I'm the best quarterback for this team and the best leader that I can be. So. Um, you know we're gonna we're gonna move on from this. It's gonna be tough. Uh, it's gonna be you know tough to to watch this film and and to just you know swallow the pill and and move on tomorrow. But that's all we can do. Uh, we got to come back and give our fans something to cheer for next week against New York. And we're excited for the opportunity. It's a long season. Never been an undefeated se or there's one, one undefeated team in the history of this league. And we know that as long as we just keep doing our thing, then we have opportunities to still do great things. So um, on to New York and you know hopefully we can get that done.